guys, it's Roxy, uh, Pink Robot, and this is the last part, the final part, of our how to make a puppy sign. So, after you got your brushes right there, and you in the set of little lines, next, you would click on the magic wand tool again, and then you will click on the other purple. Now you click on all the purples this time, and if you forgot, you hold down shift and you just click. That's how you cover up all the purples. Next, you'll get another brush. I'm going to use hearts. And then you do the same thing like you did with the peace signs. And that's how you do it. Oh, I just cut one. And there you have it, your puppy sign. Now, what we're going to do is hide, hang on. Now what we're going to do is hide the two top layers of the site model, and then click on the box, on, click on the last one, right click, merge visible. Then you make them visible, or you make the two top layers visible, and then you click on the eye on the on the bottom layer, and then you right click, and you make them two visible. Next, you want to click on the last or the bottom layer, make a new layer, then get your mark heel tool. And then make sure you get on the edge of the site model. And this is how you're going to do the little zigzag things. You can do them however you like. Make them weird looking, funky. Just do anything you want. Sorry that my voice is giving out for some reason. Now whenever you get to the side, like on this picture, you always want to click on the side. <clears throat> then click on the click down or however you like it then keep on doing your your slide ball do a zigzag just like this And then you go all the way down, go to the side, then you go right back where you started. And there you go, you zigzag. Then you'll get um, like a, a grayish kind of color. Get a gray color. Get your paint bucket tool. Then you paint inside of the zigzag and there you go you zigzag now you want to double click on your layer of the
the zigzag layer. And once again, my computer's being slow. Anyway, so hit stroke, size two, color. I usually do a gradient. And how I'm gonna do my gradient is I'm gonna make it the opposite way as to what everything else is. So, so if the site model, if the colors on the site model is green to pink, I would do on the zigzag green to pink up, green to pink down, and green to pink up. Then I would right click, duplicate layer, press OK, then you would drag and bring down the copy, the layer copy, double click it stroke size 4 fill type pattern and you will do your scan lines then you do your drop shadow you can make it as big as you want how I'm making mine is spread 31 size 16 and press ok then go back to your top layer of your zigzag double click it pattern overlay and or no not that don't click on that yet click on gradient overlay then get your gradient and then then get your pattern overlay and get your pattern that you would like and go back to your gradient overlay and at blend mode I usually double click it and just go as I go and on my keyboard I would press the down button and just look at which one would look better now I'm going to do overlay because overlay looks better and so now you have that now what you want to do is click on the rectangular marquee tool just click anywhere so you can get rid of the scan or get rid of the lines on your thing and then well that's it for this part and stay tuned for part five